All right, guys, you asked and we listened. We're here today with our brand new 2018 F-150 50 budget truck build. We've been checking around with you guys on Instagram and YouTube and all of our social media platforms to get an idea of what parts you want to see and how you want us to do this build. And we're going to try and put that into fruition all right here with this truck. All the mods that you've asked for, all the different installs you wanted to see, we're going to try and do with lots of things that are very budget friendly and will fit kind of an everyday sort of truck build for anybody's situation. So for this 2018 truck, we opted to do the XLT Sport Package, which gives us the paint match bumpers front and rear, the metallic painted front grille, 18 inch wheels, and a couple other little features throughout the truck. It's a crew cab with a five and a half foot bed. So we've got the full four doors and a shorter bed and gives us a pretty common wheelbase that I think a lot of you guys have on your own trucks. And it's definitely a really nice utilitarian wheelbase for all the stuff we're gonna do with it. Interior wise, this truck isn't really a loaded truck. We're not looking at leather and air conditioned seats and all the doodads. We actually wanted it optioned down a little bit to where we've just got regular carpet, cloth seats. We actually opted out of doing the sunroof because we've had some issues off road with the sunroofs rattling or coming off the rails and we just didn't want any of the problems involved with that when we were using this truck. The interior does have a few things like the sink system and little engaged dash display and some other kind of creature comforts that have become more standard on these trucks that still make it really nice to use and obviously very comfortable on road trips. So it's not bare bones XL, but it is a little simpler than some of the other trucks we've built. So as exciting as everything else on this truck is with the lightning blue paint and all the fun that comes with a brand new 2018 redesigned truck, the main thing we're really excited about is what's under the hood. This is a 5.0, which for 2018 has actually been amped up a little bit. They added direct fuel injection, make a little bit more power, and the biggest change is the new 10-speed automatic transmission that's paired up with this. We've tried the 10-speed out on one of our EcoBoost trucks, actually our 2017 had it, and we were actually really surprised with how good that transmission was and how well it was able to apply the power for the motor. So we're super excited to run it in this truck and really get a feel for what it can do with the 5.0. With this being a budget build, we are gonna to stick to a tiered budget system to give you guys a frame of reference for how much you can really get for your dollar when you're buying parts for your vehicle. The first tier is gonna start at $2,000, which we can get a surprising amount of product in the truck for that amount of money. We're gonna be covering a couple different items like the WeatherTech floor mats to protect the interior and keep our carpet nice and clean, especially with all the off-roading we do and tracking dirt in and out. They're kind of a standard thing that we've thrown in on every build just because we like them so much. In the bed, we're going to throw in the Promax drop-in bed liner, which is essentially a rubber mat that'll protect the bottom of that bed since we don't have any spray-in or plastic liners. It's right now, it's just painted metal and we really don't want to tear that up when we're tossing camera gear or tools or whatever else in it. The Promax will be a simple drop-in that keeps us under a $100 mark, really budget-friendly parts. 